Hi, my name's Deb Polson. I'm a researcher at QUT in the Faculty of Creative Industries. Our latest project is called the ECOS system, and ECOS simulates some of the complexities behind green building projects. The ECOS project was designed to be displayed at the Cube, which is a brand new installation at QUT using the latest in multi-touch and projection displays. Hi, my name's Cassie Celine, and I work on ECOS as part of my honours project at QUT. ECOS is a playful data dramatisation that allows users to see how green buildings behave in different climates. For example, Brisbane, Rio de Janeiro, and it allows them to change the various features of the green buildings to see how they have an impact on the building's energy efficiency in relationship with the climate. I can change the temperature inside the building. The same applies to the internal humidity of the building. Also, I can make changes to how the building utilises alternative energy sources, depending on the external weather. Some may be more or less efficient. For example, it's a slightly cloudy, windy day, so I can increase the reliance on solar and wind energy to make changes to the building's efficiency. By experimenting with these different variables, the users can discover what makes for an efficient green building in a variety of different climates. My name's Dave Wallace, and I worked on the ECOS project as both a designer and a developer. I did a lot of meeting with experts in the field of green buildings. My role there was to essentially take on board all of this quite complicated information and then distill it down to a simulation that was simple enough to convey what we felt was the important message. My other role was actually just sorting out a lot of the technical challenges that inherently come with working with displays that are on such a large scale. So while it looks like one big seamless display, uh, we actually have a whole lot of computers sitting behind the scenes here and they all need to be networked together and talk to each other uh, in very close synchronisation so that to the end user it actually just looks like one big seamless application. Building a simulation allows us to capture data over time and in different climate sectors. It turns out that Brisbane is in a climate abundant with green energy. This means that it allows the building to operate efficiently most times of the year. The ECOS team did a lot of research into data sets that capture a building's energy usage. Some of the research questions were, what are the causalities and contingencies for successful operations of an efficient green building? These contingencies may be social, technical, environmental, spatial, or even geographical in nature. Our team is continuing to collaborate with building developers, energy providers, and community organisations to refine our data collection and research outputs. We hope to further contribute to the public debate on these important issues and also to apply pressure on the policy makers that are able to innovate in the important areas of green building efficiency.